Welcome back to the Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. Um, what, when was that? Yeah, it, well, I, I think it was. I, I think it was like in the mid to late eighties. All oh, right, so no. it's not that not that long ago, but I think they had an old wooden stand. All oh, right, and. From what has been said and what they found out, I think a cigarette, a dropped cigarette, oh. caught caught fire. It caught fire, and I don't know whether there was a time when football teams had fences, so you couldn't get onto the pitch. Yeah, but I think this fire went. It's a very sad thing to talk about, but then again, it's important we remember the poor people who died and and what caused it. But the the stand just went up like a tinderbox. And I think it was about 52 or 55 poor souls lost their lives. They went to a football match and never got home. So, yeah, and, and again, in a way, we have to thank that kind of situation to make to make sure that football grounds are much safer nowadays. But absolute tragedy that was. So I think I've always, always had, if I can put it that way, a bit of a soft spot for Bradford, a bit like... Um, the teams at Hillsborough. I mean, that was Liverpool, wasn't it? They played up there, and when when you they lost ninety six fans at Hillsborough. Oh, Hillsborough, and, yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah, that was awful as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that was in nineteen eighty nine, I think. Yeah. But yeah, so football has had its tragedies, yeah. um, as we said before. Sadly, what can go wrong sometimes does, but that should spur people to make sure. You know, when things do go wrong, we learn the lessons, really. Lessons, yeah. Lessons have to be learned, according to the point. Yeah, yeah so they always say Yeah, that. they always say that, and it doesn't seem that they are learned, does it, really? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, I was, I was going to talk about, or may, bring up the subject of football sticker books. Yeah. Um, I mean, for I think for 26 or 27 years, Panini is the company that has had the rights to do the Premier League book um, once in a season, the Euros and the World Cup. So they produce this nice sticker book and football fans, particularly kids, I expect, buy the stickers and try and fill the book. I mean, it's always been a little bit of a, um, a moot point how fair it is because traditionally the price the last few seasons for five stickers is about 95 pence. Yeah. or a pound in some cases. And there's usually around four to 500 stickers to collect. But, of course, if you allow for the fact you're going to get quite a few doubles, yeah. if a young fan particularly wants to fill the book, I mean, his, his parents or if it's someone who is buying it themselves, yeah, they will obviously have to buy a lot more than the 500 stickers. We're going to take a short break now. The football ref will be back shortly. You're listening to the Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. The Football Referee will be back shortly. Please stay tuned. The Football Referee is looking for sponsors. If you're a business out there looking to spread the word about the products and services you offer, please get in touch on our website deepstuffrecords.com and also if you're looking to get involved on this show please reach out via our facebook page deep stuff radio or deep stuff records thank you